Good morning, my friends. Welcome to this episode of Healing Your Codependency. I'm Marshall Berkshire, and I'm your guide in restoring safety, connection, and self-worth in your life so you can go on and do the things you want to do in your world. That's how we heal codependency. So today, we're doing all things a little differently. We're not doing the intro. We're just going to jump right into the topic. Today is the first of a four-part series called Your Four Sabotages. And these four sabotages are the things we do that inhibit our actual healing and success, our success in our healing, in our growth, in our ability to grow out of codependency and adopt and integrate other things. So that's what we're going to be jumping into today. Today's episode specifically, because I got notes, always got to have those notes, keep your brain on target, right? Uh, we start with number one, and that is right here, <laughs> the do it on your own. No structure equals no structure equals no success. Because I'm I'm kind of an independent person. I like to do things on my own. I like to figure it out. But this has cost me untold amount of time, energy, and money trying to piece together a way to exit codependency. And sometimes I didn't have the option either. For like many of you, um, I have also experienced the time where I didn't have the money, I didn't have the resources to go and buy a structured system and get into either um, effective coaching or therapy and working through my codependency. I had to figure it out on my own. And that is often a, where we're, if that's where we're at, that's what we do. So I want to give you some tips in today's episode to help you understand that when we don't have structure, to our knowledge and to our practices, to our healing efforts, our success is going to be low. But how can we create more structure, especially if you can't afford to jump into therapy or into structured coaching systems, or you're ready to jump into those and you want to see how those work and you want to detect the one that would work best for you. So that's what today will be giving you here. So a couple of things to look at, signals that you might be in this particular trap of doing it on your own where it creates no success or low success and that's because there's no structure so how do we know if we don't have the right structure in our world first of all for anything for any advanced result we want in our life we need to have the right order of knowledge and practices to help create that advanced result leaving codependency stopping our people pleasing saying no Dealing with the discomfort of that, disappointing someone, um, stopping being perfect and embracing being creative. These are actually advanced results. These are things that are products of a lot of different steps prior to those results emerging in a person's life. And this is why structure is crucial to our healing because what it does is it takes knowledge it takes practices and it organizes them in the way that creates the results we're looking for so one of the biggest challenges i've encountered in my own healing work is structure the lack of it um, especially if i was looking to create sustainable long-term results most systems out there most coaches most therapists don't have a long-term structure that provides the knowledge the practices and the support in the right order to accomplish those outcomes so i got stuck a lot let me know if you've been stuck in your healing what's been showing up for you in that what your frustrations have been just comment below and let's talk about that let's get you some support there too so I've seen this in myself, and I have seen it repeatedly in students that join my courses. They're joining one because it provides structure. It provides an order to understanding the knowledge and the practices, why we do them, when we do them, how we do them. And then it also provides this level of support that assists them in actually making the change, one, real for once, like, oh, I experienced the change, and two, consistent, reliable. And when we get that consistent, reliable result in our world, we end up having larger and larger changes in our reality, especially when we start seeing ourselves doing things we never thought we would do in the past. That's one of those big signals of healing is, oh, I've got a different behavior, creating different results now. That's a direct result of having the proper structure in place with the knowledge and practices that you're encountering. 
my work, my experience, my own healing journey rather, I was looking at a lot of YouTubes, reading a lot of books, reading blogs, trying to piece together something that I could do. But I didn't feel very confident in what I was learning. I didn't feel like I was able to succeed in it because I wasn't sure I was doing it in the right order. So long before this, I was in the computer industry and I learned very quickly that there was a proper order in which to build machines, in which to diagnose problems with computers, and then how to uh, solve those problems. Order is a fundamental necessity to creating results predictably. This is why self-help often leads us to feeling discouraged, confused, and frustrated, especially if we're really trying to find a result or make a change in our world. This is why a lot of times therapy doesn't provide the right structure for what we're specifically trying to address. And this is why short-term coaching programs might provide specific order or structure for a specific thing, but they may lack that long-term support to create that sustainability. This is why I created the healing, um, the codependency healing system, because it provides both that right structure with the knowledge and practices in the right order to create the outcome and the support required to make that happen, to make it a consistent and reliable experience in our world. So how do we know if we have the right order? How can we tell if a course or a program or a coach or a therapist is approaching things in the right order? There's four things I look at in this to help me see if that's actually existing in someone I'm looking at hiring. So those four signals, there's one. The knowledge and the practices should start off with what's called fundamentals. These are simple building blocks that have to be in place uh, to create more advanced results down the road for the student. In my work, in the codependency healing system, we start with the essential knowledge of understanding what codependency actually is, what it's caused by, what it's trying to do for us, and then the future view, what we're going to be creating instead that helps us get those results without codependency. Practice-wise, we start off with the first necessity, that is safety. Specifically, we start cultivating emotional safety by learning how to add regulation and soothing to our nervous system so that we can begin to feel safe enough to acknowledge what we're feeling, begin to nurture and care for our capacity so that we can then experience our emotions a little more directly through titration, little bits at a time, that help us start to feel more peace, more clarity, more direction, more capacity for the more advanced things we have to do, such as building tolerance to the discomfort of telling someone no, or disappointing someone, or putting up a boundary and allowing the conflict to exist or saying yes to something we want or asking for something we want. See, those seemingly simple results of saying no, saying yes, asking for something, putting up a boundary, those are actually advanced results that are a product of the very first step we take in the codependency healing system. Understanding what codependency is and what it's trying to do for us, getting our future view of where we're going, and then starting to nurture more safety into our body and our nervous system. When I started this work, that was not a thing. That didn't exist. We actually started way in the advanced portion of like, well, let's learn how to say no. Let's learn how to let other people do their thing. I couldn't emotionally handle that. My nervous system was just spiking with panic. And then with panic, it was always about coping with it. See, we got to have the right order of the knowledge and tools we're learning in order to create these more advanced results we're looking for in our lives. So number one, it always starts with the fundamentals, the things that we have to master before we can do these more advanced results. Number two, the knowledge and practices take complex concepts and breaks them down into something that's easier for us to understand, to work with, and to apply to our daily life. One of the things I do in the codependency healing system is break down compatibility into something simple and useful for us. Because compatibility, let me know if, it's, if that's been something you're like, what is compatibility? How does it work? Why, why does it matter? My work, we break it down into the what, how, who model. So what do I want? How does it work? How does it work with this person, which would be the who? What's the result I get with that combination? That can help me understand if something's working for me or not. 
well, help me understand where things do work with someone, where they don't, where things might be able to be improved. But it also gives me a sense of power. It gives me a sense of peace, a sense of direction and what I'm accomplishing in my world. So I got that. And that's the third component is that the knowledge and the tools build on each other. So it's like a Lego set. You start off with your basics. You're adding more things to it. And surprise, you've got a house or a castle or a spaceship or something. That's what we're looking for. The, when knowledge and practices are put in the right order, they lead to more advanced structures, more advanced results. And we are gaining the capacity, the practice, the confidence, and the expertise to create and keep those advanced results as we build on those fundamentals. Now, fourth and last thing that I look for is that can I go back to the fundamentals and use those fundamentals to help solve problems that show up in those more advanced stages? That's a good indicator of a well-designed system that's based on reliable tools and knowledge that help you address and fix problems that show up in more advanced uh, stages of your development. An example in this. So... I'm in a conflict with someone. I find myself feeling overwhelmed and then I lock up. Ah, I know what to do. I know what that can be. I can go back and I can say, ah, I'm out of my capacity. This is not safe enough. I need to increase my safety. So I can go back to like the fundamentals of increasing emotional safety and start those practices again if I haven't been doing them or refine them, give them a little more time and space in my life and then suddenly I'm going to have more capacity to handle the conflict. Or I can identify, ooh, I'm freezing or I'm fawning towards this person. I can go back to the fundamentals, build enough safety to disengage that response and implement something more assertive. This is the, ma the magic of having things in the right order. So you've got to have the right knowledge and the right practices in the right order to create the results you want. This is also where we tend to sabotage ourselves, especially if we're trying to do this on our own. So I recommend as you're exploring your own knowledge, your own resources, coaches, therapists, programs, look for these four signals. How do they organize the information? Is it broken down into fundamentals and does it build on that? Does it allow for uh, problem solving in the more advanced stages? Does it take complex concepts, break them down into something that's simple and easy to understand? Do they build on each other? Because this allows you to to use this structure they've created as a framework to help lead you in your life for more success. So my friends, that's what we're looking for. And that's what I look for when I look at a coach or a pro coaching program or anything like that that I'm taking on to make sure it's going to help me get down the road. The codependency healing system is designed this way so that it can become a resource for the rest of your life so that you're you graduate the system with the ability to soothe, reduce pain, increase peace, um, feel more confident and act from that confidence for building more of your boundaries, saying yes and no, detecting compatibility, and ultimately feeling more safe, more connected, and having a deeper sense of your own self-worth so that you can be guided in your life. That's the magic here with that system. So let me know your thoughts on today's episode. If you're looking for this structure and you're looking for unparalleled live support in your healing, the Codependency Healing System is where I provide that. We have our annual enrollment open right now. We have 47 out of 75 seats available. So enrollment closes August 12th. The link is below on Facebook or below on YouTube, above on Facebook. Or I don't know. The link's in the description. Come join us and let's change your world by helping you master uh, increasing safety, connection, and self-worth in your world so you can go off and have the relationships, purpose, and satisfaction you desire in your world. So have a good day, guys. I will see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.